one mana, but we're going first. Hmm. Kind of sketchy. We're low on lands. We can go like... Kumano into Epicure, I guess. And that's pretty sketchy. We're going first. Oh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it and let's see if we can actually make something happen. That'd be sweet. We really only need to draw like one land with this hand, right? One land and we're feeling pretty good. Oh, boy. All right, land. All right, cool, cool. Cool. I like it. So do we go here or do we go here? I think we go here. And then if we draw land, we'll go Chandra Epicure. Fair enough. So let's see if they're willing to two for one. Oh, nice. Yes. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So how do we want to do this? Epicure, Ronin. We need to kill that for sure. I think we... Ronin? Play with fire here for sure. And then Ronin? Ronin gets it more damage now, and that may be relevant, right? We can always Epicure later. They're down to 12. We kept the Epic here. Let's see if they're going to hit us with the Obnixilis. That was a really good draw. I'm not going to lie. It's a really good draw. Play with fire. Okay. Fair. I respect it. I respect it. Okay. Oh, nice. I like it. I like it. Uh, so we can keep pushing damage. Right? Their guys are going to be significantly bigger next turn. Significantly bigger. So do we go Epicure plus... Versus the... Infantry. Get in for three versus getting in for... Uh, potentially six? Because... A lot of things can happen next turn, right? Yeah, let's just play the other infantry. Let's play the other infantry. I think we can make them big enough. Why are they keeping the Epicure around? That's interesting. Alright. Let's see. So, land off the top. I think we just do all three of these and hold on the Chandra. So, it fire. Okay, fair. Fair enough. Alright. So here, one, two, three, four, five. So they can block this even if we Chandra. We Chandra Epicure hold what we got. So they have. Oh, it's okay. Hit him. I won't stop fighting till the hit him where it hurts. And then play Epicure. And then next turn, we have a pretty explosive turn. I think that's correct. I think that's correct. No point in letting him play the conscript again. Trespasser, no. No, that was a good one. Trespasser was a good one, not gonna lie. So, let's see here. So now, man, that that's actually was like just good enough. I'm gonna play around them having a play with fire. So I think we just block here, keep Chandra alive. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. They can't get one back, so there's that. Hit our land drop. So let's see. Let's see what we can do here. How can we push the last bits of damage here? We can plus Chandra, draw another card. We can draw, discard this, but that still only leaves us with three mana. Exile getting a burn spell here. I think we do that. Plus and hope to hit a lightning strike. A land. A fun idea. Not great. Not great. So. We can go 
Ronin and plus that makes that big enough so it doesn't die here. So play Ronin. Anger here, trigger here. We get to draw. And it is the lightning strike, but we don't have a card to discard, no, so we should just... No, that's right. We drew it because we pitched that, so not horrible. Not horrible. Just not great either, unfortunately. Uh, let's get in there. If they want to block here, I think we're okay with that exchange. If not, they take seven. Let's see. So I guess they didn't have to play with fire. So we could have actually put them at a, le a lower con- oh, I guess they still do. They could block here. All right, fair. Yeah, so they definitely have the play with fire. Okay. All right, they did have it. Fair. Fair enough, opponent. Okay, and Chandra unfortunately will go down here. I don't think we can do about that. But, I mean, we're close. We're close to killing them. They're digging. Okay. So we were correct to play around the play with fire. I think that actually worked out in our favor, to be honest with you. Because we played around the play, play with fire on defense. So we kept our infantry to attack. Right? And it's not unheard of for us to get five points of damage here. Yeah, it is unfortunate we have to lose her. Is that good enough? So dark out. Almost. Almost good enough. So, let's... If we go with both of them, we get him for two. And then next turn, we can... We know what they have in hand. Yeah, okay. We just play both. We just play both because they're top decking. So we don't get the value off of the recursion, but this is just seals the deal next turn. Unless they top deck a trespasser. If top deck a trespasser, gain a life. If not, then we're good. Uh, hold the mountain in hand. Hold the mountain in hand. I think we're good. Let's see what they're top. They, get, they do get to draw, but literally unless it's trespasser and they have to draw it in the next card... Right? They pitch the land. Land. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Punished. Punished. Oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Not going to lie. All right. We're going to hold here. No good attacks. Nice. Nice. And they pit. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. All right. I mean, we have our game. But we're gonna we're gonna cycle this. Looking for our reach. Looking for our reach. There we go. Got there. Lightning strike you, and then play this and lightning strike you again. All right, we got there. Oof. Or we could just play with fire. That works too. Bottom that and game. Ooh, that was close. That was touch and go. Ooh, that was close. Greetings, Knights and Punta Wands. Welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I, Jedi, struggle more to play magic. So hopefully you don't have to, my friends. If mono red aggro is your jam, you may have come to the right place because that's what's on the menu for today. We are doing a very low to the ground, as you can tell by our curve, topping off at three, three drops and everything else is below mono red, capitalizing on synergies between flame channeler and electrostatic infantry. Essentially, both these cards wanting us to play an enormous amount of uh instants and sorceries to be able to a add counters to embodiment of flame to be able to draw additional cards and electrostatic infantry just getting big big and bigger as the game progresses we are running uh one drops uh we are running bloodthirsty adversary as a way to if we flood out essentially going to five mana we can buy back things like our lightning strikes and our play with fires and our ancestral angers to hit our opponent's face or get extra value uh voldarian epicure 
and Reinforce Ronin and Kumano Faces Kakazan are our one drops with I did consider Thermo Alchemist, but I wanted to I like the blood token that we get off of Epicure. Um, and just being another one drop that we could play off of Chandra, which I think is extremely valuable. Uh, uh, Ancestral Anger being a way to deal additional damage as well as cantripping, so an easy way to trigger infantry and channeler. Uh, or actually, it doesn't trigger channel correction. And then we are running for Strangle, just being able to have a one mana removal spell to get a blocker out of the way to get infantry or channeler in there. So. Uh, very straightforward get deck, not much to it. It's mono red, it gets in there. We are going to try a larger go big mono red version at some point. But, uh, you know, we've got to start at the bottom end and work our way up. So that is the deck, my friends. I mean, shout out for this video. It goes out to Rich Bainbridge. Is it Bainbridge? Like, Bainbridge, like in Australia? Anyways, Rich, thank you so much, my friend, for hanging out with me time and time again and riding the struggle bus with us. I really do appreciate you. You rock. And uh, this mono red smash deck is for you, my friend. Alrighty, we're going first. I like to see that. One, two, three. Yeah, we're keeping this one. I like it. I like it. Nice aggressive start for the old mono red. Definitely not going to complain about that. Let's get in there for two. Bounce the old reinforced Ronin. Going to go infantry next turn, which is some sick artwork. Let's go here, see if they have. All right, cool. No fading hope for the time being. Uh, probably just going to go double Ronin here. Hmm. Okay, okay. I see you, opponent. I see you. All right, let's go single Ronin. And then that way we get to leave up Lightning Strike if we need to. Right? I'm going to swing. So debatable what's going on here do we think it's a make disappear because i would like to play the channeler right i guess we play around the make disappear and not play the channeler as much as i would like to right and we just lightning strike them end of turn impulse all right let's lightning strike them now because we got nothing else to do i was playing a little conservative but i think it was worth it just saying just saying. Missed out on a point of damage, but once again, like, I think it was fair there to play around the make disappear. Um, and we just keep hitting the Ronins on them. So. And we can go Channeler Ronin. Let's see what they do this time. Hit him for another four, take him down to eight. Hold on the lightning strike for next turn when they try to play the Emperor, right? That feels correct to me. Can even not attack so they don't even gain the two life. We don't lose a dude. Wedding announcement. Okay, excellent, excellent. That's fantastic for us. Absolutely fantastic because now we get to go Channeler plus Ronin. Get in there for four. Right, yep. Bounce here. And then next turn we get to go play with fire one of their blockers if they don't if they miss their land drop. So this is gonna be close. They have their double white. Let's see how they end up playing this out, right? I mean we have a decent amount of burn in our hands as well. Problem is playing around the Emperor, right? Because Emperor's gonna take out infantry. But can we... Oh, Bank Buster. Oh. Well then. Well then. Get rid of a blocker or go face? Let's go face. Let's see what that pause is, right? Do we go double Ronin in here? Let's see what they're trying to do. This maybe it's the draw card. They can't crew. This guy gets a plus one plus one. Eh? Eh? This is close, my friends. I do not know what they are playing around. So bounce maybe? They didn't have the fading hope. They didn't have the fading hope. You're gonna take it. 
This is gonna flip. Shonda on the top is nice. I kind of want to hold my burn. So I think I go double Ronin here. Right? Worst case scenario, they double block a Ronin. All right, let's see if this is a make disappear or not, right? This would be the time to do it. That artwork is kind of sick. Kind of sick. Only question is, does she go back into her... I guess not, right? If the card doesn't flip, then that means she doesn't flip. So once she goes into the bottom of flame, once she's out, she's out. And, like, there is a world where we leave up the lightning strike, but, I mean, that being able to hit them... All right, it was make it disappear. Excellent. Cool. So, let's go here. And now we get to still attack. And the thing is, they have to block... They can't double block the Ronin. Oh, opponent. That's definitely not the preferred method, but I'll take it. Down to two... And now we have multiple levels of lethal, right? Because we can Chandra Plus and then play Ronin. We could just Lightning Strike. Um, yeah, this feels pretty good. It puts me in a pretty good position, my friends. Feeling pretty solid about life right now. Even if they board wipe, right? If we play, if they go for the um, Emperor play, right? They play that, they exile this, they go up to four, but they're still taking five. Six, because we're going to play Chandra. They're going to draw. That feels good. That feels good. All right. All right. Drawing there feels nice. Three mana. Emperor's off the table. They're going to get one blocker. They do have the ability to bounce or counter. The thing is, is that we're just going to slam Chandra. Or do we not? Because here's the thing. We slam Chandra. That guarantees one. Never mind. Got there. Well, this is about as low to the ground as we can get, my friends. We're going to keep this bad boy. And lead off with the Kumano. And then in the reinforce Ronin on two. Verbally, one of our two drops. So there is an argument to have left Kumano back. But hey, I like that. We'll roll with the three drop. I think a 3-3 three, three that's permanent is pretty nice. Opponent showing Gruul on the other side of the board. Which means there is a chance we're going to get lightning strike. But meh. What are you going to do, my friends? What are you going to do? Showing another six, our opponent could potentially be at ten here. Potentially. Ooh. Alright, uh, we're gonna plus. They have the lightning strike. Fair enough. We could save Chandra. They hit the bloodthirsty adversary. I hope you like your hors d'oeuvres extra crispy. Oh my gosh. It's so good and so bad. All right, so let's see if they go for our flash effect. They're probably going to kill the adversary if I had to take a stab at it. So, that, yep, that's exactly what they're doing. I think we're okay with that. Like, there was no way to really save it, so we might as well get in the most damage and develop our board. We still got him five damage this turn. Feels pretty solid to me. Pretty solid indeed. Let's see if they play Kumano. So they're, like, Gruul Modify. Uh, you want to dance? Then let's dance. If they have another lightning strike, they do it now. Ooh, that is not going to work out for them at all. Uh, I think we just plus. I think we just plus, right? Plus, shoot that. Hit them. They take go down to six. I mean, I guess we could plus the draw. Oh, man, that's tough. Yeah, let's draw. Land. Fair. Okay. Play with fire that. Go here. And hit you. See, they would have been at six, which is definitely different, right? So the question is now, do we cycle, play with fire, or... Or, I'm sorry, Ronin, or do we... Let's see what they play here. Okay. Okay, not much we could do there. So, defense is up. So, I think we shoot face. 
shoot phase to scry. Because they have first strike. Wait, is that enough? Hold on. So they block two. One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Wait. Oh, no, but it's five. Oh, but we plussed. Okay, yes. Wow. Man, that was close. That was touch and go there for a second. Hit you. Whew. You are lucky this is a warning shot. Play Ronin. And then play here. Wow. Exaxes, man. Jeez Louise. That was close. That was really close. But hey, I guess that's what this deck does. Got there. Whew. The sweat was real. All right, our opponent is going first, but we get to Kumano into Channeler with plenty of removal backup. I like it. I like it. Let's do this. See if we can make something happen. Black White on the other side of the board. That's going to be interesting. Already an uphill battle on turn one. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I think we can push through a wedding announcement. I think. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, my friends. Hit our third land. We may or may not play it. We shall see. I think we probably do. Right? Just allows us to get more shenanigans a going. Let's see if our opponent plays something sweet that we can shoot with the strangle to flip over our channeler. Angels. Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess. Not thrilled about that. Not my favorite thing to do, but it's not the worst either, right? Probably could have held that. Probably. But, I mean, down to 11, right? Feels pretty good. We could do everything in our hand next turn if we so choose. Nothing. So, Emperor? So, here, and swing with just these two. I think. I think we play around the Emperor here. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Hopefully they minus here. It'd be sweet if they minus. Like minus one. I'm sorry. It's a minus two. No, they minus two. Fair. Fair enough. Each opponent. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. So, Epicure. And then... I don't think we lightning strike the emperor. I think we wait to see what they do. I think we wait to see what they do here. I definitely think it could have gone either way there, though, whether we played around it or not. Like, it just evened out, right? But we get to keep our biggest dude, so I think that was correct. It's always odd how to play around emperor, at least for me personally. Paragon. Okay, that is awkward. That is awkward. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Hmm. I didn't think about the plus. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. I, I should have just killed it. So it stayed and we could at least attack with the embodiment. I didn't think about that. All right, uh, it loses first strike. So kill that. And I wonder if actually it should have just been Try not to miss me. double Ronin. So we can go around it, right? Essentially, we can go here, go here, hit him for three. Let's draw a card Chandra okay Chandra's a good hit 
Chandra is a good hit. Yeah, I definitely messed up by by letting them. Man, kicking myself for that one for sure. Kicking myself for that one for sure, my friends. Um, yeah, I, this would have been significantly easier if we had just killed the uh, Emperor. My thought process behind it was just that. Play it so we can get into here. They block here, so we attack like this. They block here, take one. All right, hold. Next turn, we can go Ronin plus this. They block here, they take four, five. See if they attack to take Chandra down. Hmm. Yeah, man, what a different game this would have been because then we could have attacked freely that turn. Kicking myself for that. Definitely made it hard mode for me. Definitely made it hard mode for me. Like I said, my thought process there was that I was essentially thinking that we can combo the lightning strike to kill the paragon, but then completely spaced on the fact they could just plus one it. So that was on me. Wedding announcement. Okay, so our one one's not going to be doing much. They do take Chandra down, though. Party's over. So... They block here, take three, if we go here, right? If we fire this off, if we go here, here, they take three anyways. But we get to, like, potentially dig. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I think, I think the Crucible is kind of... Outstate its welcome, unfortunately. Let's go here. I'm trying to think if there's any reason to do it now. I don't think so. I think we do just do it at the end of their turn. Do they have another Emperor? If they have another Emperor, then we're... A, I think that may be game. Just because they can gain the life and killing the Embodiment of Flame. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I mean, we call it the struggle bus for a reason, my friends. Call it a struggle bus for a reason. I, I definitely think this game would have been over. Okay, cool. That's 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 bad. It's bad, but it's not the worst because at least they don't get to activate it. So they got plenty of blockers. So now we're literally just looking for like, we need reach here. That's something. And. Oh, man. Oh, man. No. No. They needed one more land to do both. They're going to gain the life, the lightning strike. No. Uh. Yep. 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 Oh man, so freaking close, guys. So close. They had to play a life stealing angel. No! <laughs> what a bummer. What a bummer. We need one more mana, we would have had it. One more mana. I mean, they just attack here. Right? Our, our only hope is that they play a conservative. Yeah, they go back up to six and they have plenty of blockers because they get another blocker here. I'm trying to think, is there a way? Yeah, we just, yeah, I go back to the same spot. We just need to kill the, uh, the thing. There's the land. Gosh, start it. <laughs> uh Almost, almost close, but no cigar. I mean, wait, hold on. Oh no, this is a five now. So yeah, getting, I was thinking if we got the ancestral anger, but that's not gonna do it, unfortunately. Lightning strike them and they have blockers for all four. If we had here, they just block here. These all block. Yeah. 
They block block. Take one. Good game. Yep. Good game. Uh, I guess let's see what we would have drawn. Another land. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's where I messed up. Right there. Not killing the thing. All right. We're on the draw. But uh, we have our two drops, right? Our powerful two drops. And we have a bunch of ways of getting them bigger. So that seems good. Question is, do we channel our first or infantry, right? Fair enough. We're just going to kill that. We're just going to kill that. No sense in leaving it on the board. And we're going to be a little on the behind side. So, all right. Let's go channeler or uh, correction infantry. Hopefully we draw our third land. That'd be great. Because then we can go infantry strangle, get in there. Or channeler strangle, get in there. Right? Blade infantry, because I'm assuming they're going to kill the first thing that we play. Here comes the surge. Cut down. Okay. Fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes. Nice. Okay. Uh. Infantry. Underdog. So hopefully here they play a land and fire off the underdog. That's really what we're looking for here. Then we can go Channeler Anger. Another underdog. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's see if they have another cut down. They do not. I like that. Shouldered. Wow, really? That's a little on the scary side, isn't it? So... See if they just let it through and we get to keep our play with fire. I mean, I guess we should have just angered there. Um, unfortunately, it's not what we're looking for right now. If they if they pitch the shoulder, I feel like they have another one. Right? So we're going to need, like... Maybe I should have just angered there. Yeah. I should have just angered. Oh, well. Oh, hell. They're probably going to target this one. What can we do? What can we do? All right. Anger. I guess we... Maybe we can double anger. So close. So close. That would have been freaking sweet if we can keep both of them. So we just let them draw some more here. We can strangle it to see if maybe they don't block. I think we just attack into it. Oh, cool. So, do we strangle? No, we get in more damage if we do it this way. Yep. I was trying to think if we went the other way around, but we get in more damage. So let's see if they have a Liliana here. Because I feel like you should just go for the... Alright, Fable. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, that's fantastic for us. So, hold on. Six, seven, not quite. So, we just go... We just attack first. Get in there. Ooh, they're blocking? Oh, this is great. I feel great. I feel great now. Feel good. Feel good. All right. Oh, are we going to get meat hooked? Oh, no, no, they can't meat hook us. That's right, they can't. We have a, yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. I was worried for a second, but I was like, oh, wait, they can't meat hook us. So we're good. Interesting, they chose to block the channel there. I feel like it should have been the infantry. If we had one more land, we did have the play. So I, I think I think where I messed up was um, not just playing. Yeah, and I definitely take the blame for that one. All right, uh, strangle. 
Yes. Trigger, trigger. Uh, yep, and there we go. Yep, so I could have done a little bit cleaner and played the the anger main phase and got in there and not have to burn the play with fire. So we could have done, we could have been cleaner there for sure, for sure. Oh man, a part of me really wants to keep this hand, but I don't think it's proactive enough. So we're gonna ship it back. Um, a little bit better, a little bit better. We'll keep this and let's hold on the Kumano, I guess. Keep Chandra. And then these draws cards. So ironically enough, I think we're tucking the lightning strike. Hello, friend. So at least Kumano gives us something we can draw into gas with these ancestral angers. There's our third land. I'm gonna go here because we do have a decent amount of two drops in the deck. I don't think it's unheard of for us to be able to get that ball a roll in. But we shall see. Harvester, that makes sense. Another land. Not great. Not great. Not what we wanted to see there, but that's all right. That is all right. Because we, at the very least, can double cycle these, refill our hand. Not the most exciting thing, but we'll see if it could play out. I just, I, I don't mind mulliganing once, but mulliganing twice, once you start going down to five cards, especially in a deck like Mono Red, where every card is super important. I think it puts us in a very awkward position and it's tough to dig back from so we'll see nothing from the opponent there's the homie could have used you last turn all right let's get in there that way if they use their removal they use it now and then we can electrostatic infantry yep exactly why we did it that way and didn't burn any of our angers now the question is do we burn our anger now let's see if they have another one i guess so let's make it to where they have to i think we do this now and the reason being is if they have the surge they have the surge but if they don't then they can't just straight kill it yep and we're just gonna hold here that way they can't sacrifice harvester to kill it they have to use the surge and sack the blood token they don't get free kill so we know the pause was simply the blood token. So next turn we Chandra plus and then anger here and get in there. Though with just one creature, I'm not super excited. Chandra will be able to take a hit. Oh well. A fight? And you think so you can much win? for that. It is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. We at least get to take down Chandra. So there or Lilian. Ooh okay okay that was not bad that was not bad my friends plus the sun, I'll like oh wait it doesn't you hit plane oh <laughs> i'd love to i for some reason i thought it was both up to one target or planeswalker okay my bad my bad i clicked that incorrectly sorry i'm not interested in dying today for some reason i thought i pinged both Dealing damage up to one target player or a planeswalker. Fair enough. So no other creature so far from our opponent. Definitely makes me wish we... I mean, keeping light strike, it is what it is. At least we get to plus and draw a card. So let's see. Double harvester. Little bit of a problem. Shondo goes down. Let's see if they're going to burn the surge to make sure she stays down. That is the question. I'm done playing. All right. So plus draw. I think we draw here. I think we draw because. We should all follow our hearts. All right. Well, we definitely need that. Hold this in case they have another Lily. Go here. So we're gonna lose. go here <clears throat> problem is they're at a healthy life total <clears throat> let's anger see what we can find hey that's a little something something that is a little something something all right let's get in there so at the very least we have a chance of keeping chandra alive i think that's quite valuable the awkward thing here is, is that obviously we don't want to get rid of anything. Okay, cool. They take the block. I kind of like that. 
I think keeping Chandra alive is one of the ways we stay in this game. They can always sack this for a dude. Keep this in hand, though. I would like to play it next turn so we can draw with uh, the anger. Another synthesizer. Once again, I am going to go ahead and hold on to Chandra. I think the card advantage and additional damage she provides us is one of the ways we stay in this game. Um, obviously, kicking myself for bottoming the lightning strike there. But keeping the Chandra did allow us to deal with... Okay. Alright, so Chandra down. I think they've stabilized. I think they have stabilized my friends. So still going to keep this. Hold the blood token. Right? Chandra down. Well played, opponent. So yeah, losing that lightning strike. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it... Did we have both uh, angers? We did. It probably should have been an anger. Actually, the more I think about it. But it's alright. We'll make do with what we got. Land. Play this. Do, 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 do. Auto pay. Get back in anger. Draw here. All right, all right. We got we got some action. We got some action. Our opponent should have been a ten. Should have been a ten if I had sequenced that correctly. The Meteor Masker with double synthesizers is going to be tough to overcome, for sure. I'm trying to think of what we can do here to get past that. They burned a blood token, so they can't sack the Harvester, but at this point, I don't think they're going to, especially when they have the synthesizers for a card advantage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's the anvil. I think that seals the deal. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Actually, let me think. So, they do that, sack that. Let's see how this plays out. Yeah, I, I don't think we're in a position because they're just gonna start like draining yeah they feel comfortable to attack you know that's a bad spot double channeler is interesting though so we do we attack here yeah i guess we attack double block i don't think they're going to yep they're gonna take it okay that gives us an out that gives us an out. Double channeler, and then end of the turn, we're going to sack the blood token, pitching the mountain, go look for a uh, gas. And, I mean, one burn spell, right? One burn spell may do it. I don't think so, though, because of the fact that they are going to be draining and gaining two at a time, which is extremely powerful, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so close. So close, yet so far away, my friends. Just need a little more aggression early on is all. Like, if we were able to stick a two drop on turn two, I think it would have given us a significantly more uh, higher advantage here in this board state. Okay, I guess we take that block. I'm not sure what... Maybe they just kind of auto-snapped it off. Unless they have the other meat hook and they can finish us. And if they can, like, I mean, it was game over anyways. So good job, opponent. I think they just misclicked and went attack all. So let's see, a burn spell gets rid of a blocker. They're going to have at least... Well, we're going to have one more blocker at minimum. Get rid of this guy. Swing. I would like to go face. Ah, seismic wave. Okay, nice. Do, 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 do. That makes a lot more sense. They played me. Nice. All right. We're going to pitch, discard, and then I think that's game. Well played. Well played, opponent. Oh, geez. All right. Well, let's just... Now, I don't think there's anything we can do to come back. I just want to see where our next card is. Good game. Oh, play with fire. We had it. So close. So close. <laughs> well, other than being on the draw, this is like a great hand for us right kumano into infantry into chandra with anger backup oh yeah oh yeah that's the good stuff that's the good stuff my friends let's see if we can make something of it going up against demir potentially esper so infantry probably gonna get schwacked which is unfortunate all right we get a pass here that's kind of nice right they don't get to kill it at instant speed 
So at least we're taking up some men on their turn. Oh, wait, I guess they could have cut down. All right, fair, fair. What were we going to do, right? Were we not going to do it? No. Cut down. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So the question is here, do we infantry or Chandra, right? I think we just infantry, unfortunately. I think we just infantry and... Hold again. Because even if we plus one... Okay, because even if we plus one, the uh, we wouldn't be able to get bigger than a meat hook. So... Yeah, respect. Respect my opponent. All right, Chandra. I won't stop fighting Plus another infantry? Eh? Draw land, we can adversary. Oh, we don't even need to draw land. That's right. Well, we kind of do. Oh. All right, fair. Get rocked, Jedi. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, double invoke is pretty solid, right? Clean up the board. Do all kinds of great things. Uh, we're going to plus the draw because... Alright, we got to land out of the way. Fair enough. Hold what we got. Actually, I, I guess we should have just got in there for two. But I think, it, I think they've stabilized at this point. Full grip, plenty of lands, plenty of life. Yeah, good game. <laughs> nice. All right, we're on the play. Kumano into infantry seems solid. We're keeping this bad boy. Keeping this bad boy with plenty of backup. Yeah. Let's go this way. We'll see if we'll be able to get there. Crossing the finish line the best we can. All right. Well, let's try to... If they have bounce, they have bounce. But at least we get underneath the... Um, Make disappear. All right, cool. Gonna have to keep the strangle with play with fire for their Jin, right? But at least the other play with fire can take care of some shenanigans. So have we tempted to hold this? But we do want three lands. So I think we go here and we just swing. I think we just swing and play Epicure. They're gonna bounce the infantry, right? Hopefully they're just leaving up like make disappear impulse. And then I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna keep our burn spells. Essence Scatter, maybe? I don't think this deck is running Essence Scatter. I think I've seen them run other things before, but not that. Um, I really don't... like. I'm halfway tempted to burn face, but I don't think that's correct. Like, I really want to, right? Because that makes that... But then we just get wrecked by a Fading Hope. Okay. We're on the draw, but we have our two drops and our interaction. So we're going to keep this. We're going to keep this one. Ooh. Well, now we're not looking as pretty, right? If they are the aggressive deck, then being on the play could be an issue. Get our land drops, though. I like that. We'll love to see a Kumano. So the question is infantry or channeler? Ooh. Black, red. Okay. Do they have the harvester that is the question they do not so let's drop the channeler first so they can kill that Ooh, no pause i like that all right play your creature now play your creature now mm, yeah fair enough can't do much about that uh Player dudes, send it back. Let's see. They missed their land drop. Did they? No, we went first. No, they went first. Okay. Ooh, they're Jund. Okay. Ooh, Jund dragons. Nice. Nice opponent. All right. Uh, draw first. I think we're gonna... No, I think we do just run out the adversary. We're still two lands away from anything major happening. Yeah. Strangle. 
trigger, get in there for four. Took me a second. I was thinking about whether we should have or not. Though, man, it would have been sweet if we could have kept our channeler. Oh, that would have been so good. So good. That's mm, sushi. Got it. Not thrilled about double spelling here to get through. I guess we could... Yeah, either way, there's no, like, good play here. So let's just make this dude big. And then lightning strike your face. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Lightning strike your face. And that at least gives us a pass, right? They get a treasure, so they get to ramp all they want. But we could potentially kill the next thing they play, fingers crossed. Devastator and a Tamio. Tamio is a little annoying. Safekeeping is a little annoying there. Gains a little bit of life. Land wipe the board. Interesting that he chose the draw versus making treasures. Still got him down to 12. What are you looking for? What are we looking for here, my friends? So, a double strangle. Mm, oh, that's unfortunate. Ooh. Alright, yeah, I'll take that. I will take that. Interesting that they played... Man, and they didn't play anything from their hand, too. Uh, two plus a card or three. I think two plus a card is better than three. Famous last words. Famous last word. Oh, no, it's only one. That's right. Oh, so, yeah, we should just lightning strike there. That was my bad. That was my bad. So, they would have been at four. That being said, I mean, I guess we still got a point. I'm not sure. Yeah, that was close. That was close. I think either way. I think the, the, the cantripping part of it is pretty, pretty powerful, I think. We did get a plus one for it, right? Target creature gains trample X for X, where X is one plus the number of cards. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. At the very least, we got plus one out of it. All right, let's see. Five mana for the opponent. They're at six. We have six. I mean, there's no dragon that is big enough. They can meat hook us and wipe our board. Okay. Okay. That is okay. Hey. Hey, my friends. We may have a shot here. We may have a shot to take down the old Jun Dragons, which is definitely a one of the decks that's on the list. So many decks to build around. Oh, my gosh. Devastator for one. So that's game. Nice. Oh, that is nice. That was close. Very close. I respect the opponent. Respect the opponent. Boom, boom. And Kumano for the win. Yes. Exactly 20 again, baby. Holy cow, this deck is like snug. Well, my friends, that is the deck. Uh, four out of five for this one. Solid four out of five. Uh, the reason being is it's fairly inexpensive to craft. Only having really uh, six mythics. And you could honestly... like. I mean, we did win a game off of Crucible, so I think you can consider take it or leave it. I think it's nice to have that utility where we're still able to run 20 lands, but we have the ability of cashing them out when we need to. Um, and that's why we're running Epicure over something like Alchemist, because we're able to kind of use that blood token effectively. Uh, you saw Adversary very powerful, Chandra was very powerful, but once again, because Thermal Alchemist is in the format as well as the Adept, Flame Speaker Adept, or whatever it is, the one from... Uh, nightmare or midnight hunt i think you if you don't have the wild cards for these mythics i would probably lean into adversary over chandra just because genre is a little a little susceptible to removal versus adversary has the ability to kind of buy back your lightning strikes and your angers which is extremely powerful so i think that's uh, uh definitely the card to consider 
But uh, yeah, overall solid. I don't think this deck wanted a Gatekeeper. I definitely consider Gatekeeper. It's one of my favorite cards when it comes to aggro. But I think it's just not necessary, right? And hitting creatures with a Reinforced Ronin is kind of bad. So yeah, I, I think I liked it. Channeler did some work. You guys saw it. I think it's a very powerful card. I like it. It does take a little bit of work to do. Not much though. Um, but yeah. I think the deck's solid. I, I enjoy it. Four to five, you will be able to climb with this one for sure. At the very least, your games are going to be very quick. You either win fast or lose fast, my friends. But that will do it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Until next time, as always, happy gaming.